What is up guys, Star Wars Only here, and today I'm going to give you my review of the Darth Maul comic book that came out today of 2017. Today is February the 1st, and yeah, we got a brand new Darth Maul comic book. This is fresh out of the comic book store, basically. I read it uh, when I was having lunch, and I'll, I'll give you my review over it. So, this is the first Darth Maul comic we have in the new canon era of things in the Star Wars universe. There was the EU when we had a lot of Darth Maul stuff, but now we have, you know, the new canon basically because the EU is now Legends, and we got the new Darth Maul comic book that shows what happens before The Phantom Menace. We have the um, comic books on what happens after, you know, ah, oh God, what was it? Ah, the Clone Wars, and then he's still in Rebels, so he's still alive and well at the moment. Well, not well, but he's still alive, and now we get to see him before the Phantom Menace, what happens before. Now, there's not that much to expand on. I mean, there is a lot to expand on. Like, we all want a movie about him, but it's very limited on what they really can do with this comic book series, but they can also still do a lot of, like, kind of twists and turns and everything. So, like, right from the get-go, you see him taking out the Rathars, for, and you remember that from The Force Awakens. That was kind of cool. Um, just nice little nostalgia we got going on there. And basically, the comic book is about how... Darth Maul, he's, he's bloodthirsty. He wants to kill Jedi. He wants to be a Sith that he feels like he is made to be, and he wants to, you know, attack and fight and destroy the Jedi. And Sidious simply will not let him do that. So it basically starts off where he's destroying the Rathars and basically just saying how he, he loves the thrill of battle, he wants to kill, he's hungry for, you know, just killing Jedi, basically. And there's a scene where he's literally watching two Jedi just walk. And then next you see him with Sidious, and Sidious basically tells him, cut it out, stop, or I will kill you myself. You do not need to get close to the Jedi, you will kill when I say you can kill. And so, Sidious sends him on a mission to go um, basically take care of some federal, um, what, the Trade Federation stuff, um, by saving them. He, he killed the pirates, but he killed the Trade Federation people as well, he's, he's lying to his master. And he finds out that there is a Padawan that has been captured and um, will be sold to the highest bidder. And Darth Maul's plan now is, and this is basically the entire plot of the story of the comics, I believe, is that he's going to find this Padawan and fight them because he wants to see who's better, the Sith Padawan or the Sith Apprentice, basically, and the Jedi Padawan. He wants to battle to the death and see how that works. Kind of interesting, um, nothing too unique, I guess. It's, I mean, they really did play their cards safe with this comic book, and honestly, I'm not entirely impressed, but I'm not really disappointed. Um, what I do like about this comic book is the fact that it shows... Um, kind of more of the Sith aspect of things that we have kind of grown accustomed to in the EU and in the canon stuff we have now, even in the movies, of basically that the Sith betray each other and how ruthless they are. I mean, Maul's so hungry for death on killing Jedi, it's ridiculous, and he's basically very impatient, which I don't like how impatient he is because he seemed very patient in The Phantom Menace and also somewhat very patient in The Clone Wars, but you see how he's a little more impatient during The Clone Wars as well, so I guess I can kind of get that. But anyways, so you see the Sith aspect things of it where um, Sidious tells him basically, I will kill you if you do not do what I say. And then Maul's like, I will do your bidding. And then Sidious like, yeah, 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 you will. Of course you will. Like he kind of realizes that I am your master. And that's kind of nice seeing that and seeing how Darth Maul basically said, he literally said at the end, uh, my master lies to me or he keeps secrets from me. Why can't I do the same? And that's a very co common aspect of the Sith. That's almost the core of what they do to each other. Uh, they betray each other and they lie to each other. You see that with, um, you know, Darth Bane and the, the Brotherhood and whatnot. This is old legend stuff, but, you know, even Sidious killing Plagueis, even Vader killing Sidious, stuff like this, you see the betrayal going back and forth between the Sith. And in the Force Unleashed game, the first one, Shakti uh, tells uh, Starkiller, the Sith always betray each other. So it's nice seeing that again. It's kind of nice seeing the aspect of the Sith and how they run things and how they do things and seeing them in hiding from the Jedi. And so that part is pretty cool because I want to learn more about the Sith in the new canon. So I do like that that part of it. But like I said before, they play very safe with this uh, this comic. I mean, there's there's some action in there that's decently entertaining. I'm, I'm going through it right now. But other than that, I mean, there's really nothing. It, it's the start of a... Of the story and I get that but it's still just kind of it's it's a little boring do I think it's worth the five bucks that I paid for it not at all I personally recommend you would actually buy the entire set together um, like all the comic books in one it's gonna be like 20 bucks for like what six five comics I think it's worth it that's what I normally do um, but this was like five dollars for one that I really don't feel like it was worth it it was a very safe played comic book that didn't give you much in on mall other than the fact that you know that he's impatient and 
He's he's just a bred warrior. He literally just wants to kill. And that's not something we basically already knew. I mean, it is, but it isn't. But it's still, it's an aspect of his life that I didn't care to find out because there's nothing interesting going on here. This You literally could skip over this comic book and most likely go to the next one and be fine. And the next one doesn't come out till March till 22nd and it's February 1st. So a little frustration with stuff like that. But I'm not a big comic book guy. This is like one of my first ones to buy in a long time. I normally buy them sets instead of just individually like this. So I guess that's just me learning. But yeah, so far, I, if, I, if I had to give the first one a rating, I'd have to get it maybe a 6 out of 10. No, nope, fuck that. I'd give it a 5 out of 10. It, it had nothing special about it. There was nothing that made it better than almost any of the any of the other Star Wars comics that I've read, and there's nothing that made it a lot, like, just stand out. It doesn't stand out at all. It's just kind of there. It didn't do much for Maul as a character at all. And no no character development or anything. So, uh, but, well, okay, maybe a little character development, that he's impatient and he wants to kill. Ooh, something we didn't know, right? So, yeah, this small, this small comic book was played very safe, and I, I don't think it was that great. So... I'd have to give it a 5 out of 10, sadly. Um, I hope it does better because I don't know how many there are. I think there's 5, like normal. But I hope it gets a lot better because this already was a massive disappointment for a character that is a huge fan favorite. So, have you read the comic? Comment your thoughts below on the comic if you have read it. If you haven't, I recommend you just try to read it online for free. Um, but yeah, so comment your thoughts on what my next video should be. Comment, like, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. May the Force be with you, always.